suppose that you have all heard about God, right? Creator of all that is, creator of love. You've all heard me talk about how much God loves us and is always with us. And Jesus? Yeah, you know a little bit about him too. We know about Jesus, the teacher, the healer, the preacher, the friend to so many people. Jesus was God's love. And he used his own hands and his own heart to help other people understand about God's love. And what about the Holy Spirit? Well, now that one's a little more tricky to understand. At least it is for me. But when I think of the Holy Spirit, I think of like mm, this loving energy of God with us right here and right now. It's not really something I can describe. It's more just of an image I have in my mind of these colors moving in and around me. And sometimes those colors are calming. And sometimes those colors are energizing me, moving me and guiding me to make good choices and how to live my life as a child of God. So now these three, Creator, Jesus, Holy Spirit, are they three different things or are they, are they all the same thing? And how on earth are they connected? Well, at Christmas, we hear how Jesus became a human, was born in Jesus. So Jesus was God, but God was still God. And the Holy Spirit came to Jesus' followers after he was gone as a, a powerful presence to guide them, to help them to do that very important work of showing God's love to others. So the Holy Spirit was also God and also kind of came from Jesus. So a little confusing, isn't it? But that's okay. That's okay because one of the awesome things about faith, about things like God, Creator, Jesus, Holy Spirit, is that we don't need to understand them completely. Some things are just a mystery. And we can never really know. The exciting part of faith is the wondering. It's watching for signs of God and learning the important stories of Jesus. And paying attention to when we might feel the Holy Spirit guiding us. And some people are really, really just comfortable with not knowing. With things being a mystery. But others, and I'm a little bit like this, like to figure things out. Kind of like to know how things work and why. So for those people, I found what I think might be a good way to help get a little understanding of the Holy Spirit. So, meet Kool-Aid Man. Kool-Aid Man is the pitcher. Kool-Aid Man is also the juice. And Kool-Aid Man is the ice. So, one Kool-Aid Man, three things. Pitcher, juice, ice. But the pitcher is not the juice, and the juice is not the ice, and the ice is not the juice, and the, well, they are all their own thing. Pitcher, juice, ice, but yet they are one thing. Kool-Aid man. So let's replace these with God, Creator, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Does this help? If it does, that's super. And if it doesn't, okay. You don't need to understand these things in order to do the one thing that all three of these parts need us to do. Love. To share compassion, to be kind, and to help those who need help in whatever way we can to help make this world a better place for everyone. So on this Trinity Sunday, and that's what today is called, which is why I'm talking about God, Creator, Jesus, Holy Spirit, the Trinity. On this Trinity Sunday, may you take a moment to just appreciate creation, God's creation. And may you, like Jesus, share God's love with someone else. And may you also pay attention to what the Holy Spirit might be guiding you to do. 
how to live as a child of God in the best way you can. So may it be so for you today and every day. And have a fantastic week. <laughs>